In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a smoke effect in Photoshop. Let's get started. First, go to the File menu and click New to create a new document. I'm going to name it Smoke Effect, but you can name it whatever you like. These are the document settings I'm using for this tutorial. Once that's set, just click Create. Drag your subject image into the document and press Enter. Right-click the image layer and choose Rasterize Layer so we can start editing it. Now go to the Select menu and choose Subject. Photoshop will automatically select the subject for us. Then click the Layer Mask button to remove the background. Then right-click on the Layer Mask and choose Apply Layer Mask to make the background removal permanent. Hold Alt and drag a corner inward to resize the subject image proportionally. Then center it a bit. Add a black and white adjustment layer. Set the preset to darker. Right click the black and white layer and choose create clipping mask to apply it only to the subject. Select the subject layer. Go to filter. Liquify. Make sure the Forward Warp tool is selected. Use the bracket keys to adjust brush size. Then drag and stretch the edges of the subject outward as shown. Once you're done, click OK. Hold Alt and click the Layer Mask button to add an inverted layer mask. Reduce the inverted layer mask density to about 85%. That way, when we start brushing, we can see what we're doing as we bring parts of it back. Select the brush tool, open the brush settings and choose a brush from the smoke brush set. Download link for the smoke brush set is given in the description. Make sure the foreground color is set to white. Now begin brushing to bring back parts of the subject with that smoky effect. You can rotate, resize, and switch brushes to get the result you want. I recommend just tapping or clicking with the brush instead of dragging it gives you a more natural scattered smoke look. Don't overbrush. A few well-placed clicks give a better result than constant painting. I'm going to speed this part up in the video, but feel free to take your time and play around with different brush angles and sizes. You'll see the smoke effect building in real time. Use the soft round brush from the general brushes to gently reveal the subject's face or any details you want to keep visible. This is how you do it, by gently brushing like this to reveal the front part of the subject's face or any details you want to keep visible. Once you're done brushing, set the inverted layer mask density back to 100% to view the full effect. Select both the subject layer and its black and white clipping mask, then press Ctrl and G to group them. Add a Gradient Fill Adjustment layer. Click on the Gradient Preview to edit it. Then double-click the left color pointer. Set the color to black as shown. Click OK. Again OK. Change the style to Radial. Check Reverse. And set Scale to around 330%. Click OK, then drag this gradient layer below the group. Add a gradient map adjustment layer. Check reverse. Click the gradient. 
Now choose a gradient from the blue section or any you like. I'm picking this one. Click OK. Set the blending mode to overlay and reduce opacity to 40%. Add a curves adjustment layer and adjust the points to enhance contrast as shown. And that's it. The smoke effect is complete. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.